a lover, a soldier too. You just never know what he's gonna do. A crazy life between two worlds. Can I get you something to drink? Hey, what do you need? A shot of crown. Shot of crown for this young man right here. Jägermeister, please. Jägermeister. Stop being an asshole, and everything's going to be all right. You know what your problem is? You need to be more love. You need a hug or something? Stop being such an asshole, okay? I received some of the worst news of my life. My attorney and my money could not get me out of the draft. The only option was to get the hell out of Dodge. Turn the vehicle off and pull the keys out of the ignition. Window down. I know that smell. I'm gonna ask you to step out of the vehicle. Calm down, officer. I have no quarrel with you. Step out of the vehicle now. What's your problem, brother? What did I do? Step out of the vehicle. What if I gave you five hundred dollars uh, as a tip for? protecting and serving this fine county, young man. Step out of the vehicle, sir. Do you realize you're in Chucktown? You are in my town. I pay your freaking salary. Calm down, man. Put your hands against the vehicle. Dude, you don't have to have an attitude, man. Spread your legs. Dude, I'll give you $500. Man. Don't you need the money, man? Mm, save it. You know I'll make your life hell, don't yeah, you? Yeah, keep, keep walking. Do you know who I am? I don't care. Dude, you can kiss your career yeah. goodbye. Right. I want to speak to my attorney. Charlie Graves. Get me out of these damn cops! <laughs> 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 
You rock. <laughs> I know. I know. Let's get the hell out of here. Somebody needs some help. <laughs> I got some cash, I got some help. Oh, God, yeah. oh my God! It's Officer Witt! <laughs> I'll tell you, son, I have seen some crazy things on this job, but seeing you in the back seat of this car naked and handcuffed is about the best. <laughs> That's real funny, Earl. That's real funny. It's pretty funny. How about you get me out of these damn cuffs before somebody comes here and I lose my job? If maybe you'd forget about me banging your old lady, and you should forget anyway, because she gave me studied. She gave me studied. Nope, I no. went to, I had to go to the doctor. I was no. running or something. She gave me a studied thing. No, she didn't. Yeah, no. she did. That's, well, I got it back from the doctor. I had to take antique biotics for it. That's what he said. <laughs> and so I'm thinking right now, if you forget about that, Wait a minute, I'm the one that got studied by the way. How about you get me out of these cuffs and we'll just let bygones be bygones. You know what makes me sick? When police officers like you mess around on the job, end up getting handcuffed in the back seat of your car naked. I pay my taxes for you to protect people. So if you don't mind, I might get a little shot of this, a little selfie, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> my Twitter fans need me. See you later, brother. Pits off. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to ditch this car and buy a car from that buy here, pay here lot. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's... I don't even care what kind of car it is as long as it freaking gets us to Canada. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> well, I'll let you pick what car we get. Alright. Hello, welcome. Looks like you guys are looking for a car. How you doing? I got a bunch of fine specimens right here. Kind of like your lady right there. How you doing? Yeah. I'm too kind. Thank you. <laughs> All right, enough of the small chat. Will this thing get us to Canada? And what's your bottom low price? If it's a cash deal, we don't want a paper trail. This bad boy will get you there in no time. As a matter of fact, all of these are on sale today. That's what they tell everybody, isn't it? That's right, that's right. Hey, we gotta make a business, I'll make you a deal. I understand, what kind of deal are we talking about? A bottom low price for this one here, I'd say $29.99. Yeah. What about that one? Oh, now that one might not be on sale. Now that's my own personal car. That's my own personal car. That's the one I drive to look cool. Aww, <laughs> I really want that one, man. Uh, well, there's a price on everything. Let's see if you got. Uh, you want to go check? Come on, let's go check it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Now this is a beauty right here. Can't you see yourself driving that? Look at that. You like it? It looks nice, but how well does it run? Oh, it runs. It runs good. Certified today, just like all my cars, all certified. Okay, I guess I can let it go for $9,999, because anything more than that, you know, I'm going to have to report that to Uncle Sam and, you know. What about nine grand and a pound of that stuff that killed Elvis? <laughs> Oh, consider it sold, consider it sold. Whoa. 
Wait a minute, you guys aren't undercover cops or anything like that, are you? <laughs> you know, because, I mean, I, I don't get me wrong, I definitely would like to have some of that shit to kill the Elvis, but, you know, uh, I got a, dude, I got a family and everything like that, and I do not want to go back to prison, so just try to act normal. Nah, brother, I hear you, man. I can rest assured we're not cops. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! Didn't I see you on the Musicland Network? I saw you on TV. I recognize you. Oh, you're thinking of my cousin. Yeah. You're thinking of my cousin Charlie. He thinks I look like Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, you know, Charlie might be a handsome guy, but I'm much more hung than him. Well, wait a minute. I wasn't born yesterday. There is something fishy going on here with the catch and the whole thing. What about nine grand? Some of that stuff that called Elvis, and I take you to the promised land in that office. Go right back there. Let's go make a deal. Ooh, that's the kind of deal. Ooh, that's a good deal. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. yeah, right there, right there. Oh, oh, yeah, that's it. I'm checking your credit. I'm checking your credit. Oh, buy here, pay here. I'm doing it again. I'm checking it. I'm checking your credit. I'm checking your credit. Oh, reduce that to four ninety nine. dollars 99 It was a pleasure doing business with you, I tell you that. I do business with you anytime. Any of these deals, come on down. Oh, <laughs> act normal, act normal, everything's good. Stop right there, please. How we doing? What brings you all to Canada? You have your passports on you? We're evangelists, and we're going to touch some souls by hosting some chicken bites. We recently helped uh, touch many souls and bring many people to the promised land. What about you, young man? If you were to die today, would you go to heaven and have a mansion of gold? Step out of the vehicle, please. Or let me ask you a question, young man. Would you go to the lake of fire? Is your life right with God? Sir, I said step out of the vehicle. So they found my stash of marijuana. Not to mention they noticed that we both had fake passports. Dude, I need to speak to my attorney. I'll give you five grand. Let's go, let's go. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. The government gave me a choice to go to prison or report to boot camp. I'm thinking that I should have chose prison. What are the markings on a dollar bill really mean? Engraving images of something I've never seen. Tony Jones from Dayton, Ohio. What about you? You can call me Charlie. You look pretty familiar. You're not some rock star, are you? Huh. 
I get asked that a lot. If I was a rock star, do you think I'd be sitting on this bus going to boot camp? Or my tour bus full of a bar and a bunch of beautiful women? That's true. I'd be rich enough to buy a way out of the war if that were the case. I read something the other day, but it was probably just an old wise tale. Do you really think the boot camp puts saltpeter in our food? What the hell is saltpeter? You know, the stuff that keeps you from getting a hard on. I guess we'll see tomorrow. I mean, not a day goes by that I don't wake up with a hard on. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Brother, all I care about right now is getting through each and every day and not going insane. I've heard of many people going berserk in this place. I just hope we don't have drill instructor Doggett. I heard he beats up people and gets away with all kinds of unethical stuff. Sounds like karma will bite him in the ass one day. I really need something to distort my reality of all this freaking craziness, man. That's about to go down, man. <clears throat> Would you care for some prescription meds? The healthcare uh, providers seem to think it fixes everything. Are you serious? We're about to arrive at the toughest boot camp in the world and you're about to get fucked up? Man, I have a feeling it could be my ticket out of this place. Hey man, I don't judge. If you want to do what you want to do, that's your business. If I don't see you again, it was nice meeting you. You are now at my home and no longer considered a civilian. I am Joe Sergeant Doggett, and you will only speak when spoken to and only refer to yourself as this recruit. On my command, you will get off my bus and make a formation at the drill hall. Do you understand? Now get your nasty asses off my bus. Move it! In the drill hall! Right now, recruit! You better move! 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 You're awfully slow! When I say your name, sound off like you got a pair sing! Here, drill instructor Duggett! Recruit Dell! Here, drill instructor Doggett! Recruit! Shirley! Here, Drill Inspector Doggett. Shirley? What kind of name is that for a man? What do you do for a living, Mr. Shirley? Sir, I'm a drummer, sir. A drummer? We have a drummer right here in our platoon. How do you feel about a drummer being in your platoon? Well, rum pum pum pum. <laughs> Recruit crew. Where is Recruit Grooves? This roll call confirms that he got on the bus. What the hell, Grooves? What board of get off my bus don't you understand? <laughs> Maybe somebody should slap some sense into you. Hippies, perhaps you would like an all expense paid trip to the psych ward. What the hell wrong with you? What the hell's wrong with you, boy? Recruit Grooves, do you even know why you're here? Maybe because I decided to stay on the bus? 
I assume that you have no interest whatsoever in serving your country. As much as I would love sitting in a barber's chair and cutting all my hair and playing Rambo in the woods, it's not what I've always dreamed of. I mean, look at me. Do I look like the kind of guy that would be interested in playing soldier? Well, <laughs> perhaps, but then looks can be deceiving. Recruit Grooves, your test results here indicate that your body's full of illegal substances. Did you load up on drugs hoping that you'd be declared unfit for military service? You had to be in another world on that bus. To be very honest, doctor, I needed something to alter my mind with the situation at hand. I only believe in love and peace, not war. Especially if it's a war that's caused by a bunch of fat slobs that are only interested in their bank accounts and not the interest in American people. Well, I can understand your actions and, and, and even your response to the situation. However, it's my job to determine whether you're fit for duty in the AIO. You can pretty much determine that I am unfit for duty. So, you think that this whole World War III situation is nothing but a bunch of fat slobs trying to line their pockets. Tell me, why do you feel that way? With all due respect to all the soldiers that have sacrificed for our freedom, I am in tune with the level of greed from politicians and their interests with corporate America and how they influence international and national policies. Recruit Grooves, you're probably way too intelligent for a job in the AIO, but you're not as crazy as I first thought. I'm declaring you fit for duty and having you placed in a unit under the command of General Burbank. You're dismissed. Oh, one more thing, as you were. Would you do me the kindness of signing an autograph for my grandson? Some good.